everybody, Michelle is here, Michelle is here in the building on October the 20th, 2024, on a Sunday, 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 what a day. Uh, so last night, even though I rested very well, there were, I mean, I guess something was going on, right? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm picking up a lot of energy of something. And who knows, haven't had a chance to look around on the news to see what's going on here, what's going on there. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, what I wanted to talk about today was um, something that I uh, brought up about um, people feeling remorse feeling guilt and feeling um I don't know I'm not sure what is um I didn't I you know all right let's 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 start over <clears throat> it's about mistakes how about that <clears throat> and I wanted to take a look here as to what I've said about I, I'm sure I you know I put a lot of things in my videos for a reason and I told you that everything's about timing. Yeah, I put out something with trial and error. It says making mistakes and owning up to them will evolve your consciousness, which is true. And I put out something about failures and mistakes, yes. And then another one that says God does not make mistakes. You know, I remember hearing relatives saying that all the time. And it's so contradicting. It's so contradicting. I'm going to go back to those videos after I'm, you know, when I got time and look at them. And, you know, and see what I can pick up from that. But uh, mistakes, you know, and, and I told you the values of mistakes and why we need to make mistakes. But at the same time, we need to own up to them as well. We need to own up to our mistakes and recognize, you know, the the errors in our ways so that we don't keep repeating, 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 repeating and spinning, 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 because that's what we do. That's what we. That's what we've been done doing for. Uh, I would say thousands of years, decades, millions of years, whatever. We're just in a, con a a spin, 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 but we're not evolving. You know, we're supposed to evolve, right? And that's why I said the trial and errors of mistakes. You know, making mistakes and owning up to them will evolve your consciousness, and that's so true. And what brought me to this is, uh, like I said, I'm feeling, you know, something's going on, and. Um, and I, you know, I've made a lot of mistakes and I've said that and I, uh, and I appreciate that because like I said, it helps to evolve my consciousness to make mistakes, own up to it so that I don't keep making the same mistakes over and over again. Sometimes it takes a little bit more bumping, you know, bump the heads, so to speak moments, you know, get a knock upside the head moments, you know, as we used to say in the culture back in the day, what was it? Oops, upside the head. <laughs> up oh. oops upside the head um we used to uh say that a lot growing up and of course you know people have um commercialized it you know why am i not surprised uh but it, essentially let's see what it says it means um but yeah it's commercialized and so um yeah, several people have commercialized it. Uh, you know, let's see. I'm just trying to figure out. It says here, it conveys a message of perseverance, strength, and empowerment. Hmm. It says uh, the story of overcoming obstacles. Uh, all right, that's that's some that's someone's meaning of it. Uh, another one is. Um, Because you don't believe that I won't, yeah. You know, some yeah, that those are lyrics. So here we are facing each other, and yeah, it's a a vivid, imaginary, <laughs> imaginary, and thought provoking metaphor. Yes, <laughs> I kind of laugh because um, yeah, that's that's where we are with that. And 
I told you there's there, there, there there's it's probably more value in making mistakes than um I mean, there's just a lot of value in it. I was going to say is there's more mistake, uh, there's more value in making mistakes than telling lies, but I don't know. I need I need to probably think a little bit more about that uh, because because you know telling lies, of course, intentionally lying, of course, that's not going to evolve your consciousness though. That's the difference. Intentionally telling lies and harming people without evidence or proof, lying, yes. But if you make a mistake, that's one thing. So back in 2022, as I said, uh, there were some series of events that happened to me that, uh, um, caught, you know, this just gave me a, you know, a wow moment. And that's, you know, then a series of events happened to me. Um, and I'm sure to everybody, right? Um, I was saying and doing things. You know, because I thought I, I thought I had free speech to do so, but I, it, it was determined that that was not the case until, until it was pushed, until it was pushed back. That's why I like, uh, that's why I have that um, declaration on my Facebook page about um, <sighs> it's about. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights, okay, and and I and I, and I it, it it became obvious to me, that, and that's why I that's why I said people are not reading a goddamn thing, okay. I can guarantee you, the majority of the people that are supposed to know the Constitution do not know the Constitution at all, and I'm talking about the U.S. Constitution, okay. It was very clear as I progressed through, you know, progressed through. You know, because like, you know, in 2022 is when I had a lot of burdens lifting off, lift off me. And that's when I retired from a toxic environment. Okay. I've said that enough, but then so your consciousness is not going to allow you to handle something you can't handle. Everybody wants to put that on a God. No, that's your consciousness. That's your subconsciousness. That's why I say you can't fool it. Can't fool your consciousness. So. Everything happens, does happen for a reason. A lot of people uh, do not subscribe to that. And that's okay. You don't, you know, at this point in our, in our development, it doesn't matter to, you really don't have any choices. Um, let me just make that clear. You really do not have any uh, necessary room or as many choices as you as you think you have even though yes they're they, you know they've been on the books for thousands of years on the books that's you know metaphors you know stuff has been available to help us to evolve our consciousness to move forward to develop properly okay without the criminal elements to it it all has become criminalized unfortunately so so when it came to uh the Declaration of uh, Human Rights, you know, that's when I realized, uh, you know, no one, the people that are supposed to know these things about, so we, it's our, you know, we, we have to take responsibility, but the people that do not know necessarily what they're talking about, let's just be very clear and effective, uh, have made have made detrimental errors, and that that and that's with the U.S. Constitution, that's with scientific breakthroughs. You know, the trials and errors were disregarded. It just, a lot of people just took it to the breakthroughs. You know, rushed it through without proper review. Okay, so. Back in 2022, when these series of things started happening to me, um, you know, uh, I was saying some things. And yes, there, there was a mistake. I was just happy, you know, and I was happy to share. But sometimes you just have to be very, you have to be creative. And that's what I've learned. When you are, when you are faced with a certain type of criminal energy that we're faced with, you have to just be creative about it and, and disseminate properly. And... And it was, it, 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 for me, it was, um, I was just 
doing what I do, you know, and sharing what I share. For me, it wasn't about competition. It wasn't about beating the other man down or beating the other woman down. I was just sharing information. You ask me a question, I won't answer it. But I realized <clears throat> when, you know, that I should, uh, you know, especially coming out of the field out that I was in that, um, Nobody, nobody wants to own up to their mistakes, unfortunately. Okay, especially in law enforcement. Let's make that clear. Make it clear and effective. The elements and the environments of law enforcement, um, you know, public safety, making, you know, making mistakes is almost, is, like I said, they rather lie than make mistakes. And, and and see how see how uh, uh, degenerate that is, you know that you rather lie than own up to a mistake, because the mistake is what's going to uh, cause you to evolve your consciousness and makes you more aware. And so, law enforcement has this uh, fallacy and to say that, you know, in order to get the truth, you have to tell a lie. And saying that's where, you know, that's where we're operating in, in criminal energy. That's criminal energy. Okay, let's make it clear and effective. So, again, you know, I, we grew up to tell the truth, you know. Even though, yeah, everybody has, everybody has lied. They call them white lies, you know. A lie is a lie, though. Whether it's a white lie or not, it's, you know, it's a lie is a lie. But it depends on why you're lying, you know. That is, that's important too. Why are you lying? If it is it, if it's about protecting someone you love, protecting yourself, and you're just attempting to get out of a situation alive, because that's the whole point of our lives is to be alive and evolve. Yes, you may have to tell a white lie. And I've done that. A white lie is, it's a deliberate untrue statement, which does no harm or is intended to produce a favorable result. It says an unimp unimportant lie. Okay. Now that's different from deliberately lying. Okay. It's uh, and when I when I mean by that is the 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 whole premise is to go in there and lie to someone about something something very detrimental to this person's um, reality. To for example, if you are talking to someone. And you, you're attempting to get the truth out of them. Well, and then you go and say something that's a lie. Say for, you know, I'll give an example. Um, I heard, uh, you know, like I said, I come from law enforcement. And and I can remember um, hearing, you know, hearing all kind of stuff going on in our training. So the so-called training that, you know, it's all, all, it's all about the truth. And it's all about getting the truth by any means necessary and is that is that is that that's 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 garbage <laughs> that's, the truth is the truth the truth will be the truth today tomorrow trillions of trillions of years from now the truth is the truth so that has always been a hard thing for me to understand with other people i mean they rather they rather tell a lie than make a mistake you know as young children, you can remember, you know, you drop something on the floor and then you, you know, you blame your, you blame your brother, you blame your sister. That's what happens to a lot of people. They just want to go around and blame other people for their failures, you know, and instead of owning up to their failures and say, okay, or a lot of mistakes actually, and say, okay, I can remember too, you know, there were just several instances, you know, we, we all have them growing up where, you know, we know that we've made a mistake, but we'd rather hide it and, ha and, and have someone be blamed for it so that we don't have to take ownership of our mistake. It was a mistake, but if you don't take ownership of it, it becomes what? You know, unown you know if you don't own that mistake, you put that mistake on someone else that, you know, is innocent. And so, so many people have done that. And so, like I said, I did that myself. You know, I made some mistakes, um, and, you know, and share in, 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 in what I was sharing because I was having fun with it. I didn't understand the ramifications of it. I didn't understand how degenerate people were, okay? I didn't understand how deviant 
And the main thing I didn't understand is the, uh, the, the criminal energy around jealousy and envy. Jealousy and envy will, you know, will send someone uh, in a in a fit of rage, and it, it, and it's, it is on you know, like I said, you know. Remember being jealous about something, and what it does to you. It clouds everything. Your judgment. It does everything, and it criminalizes itself. Jealousy and envy criminalizes itself. So. When someone makes a mistake and they don't own up to it, okay, that's, that causes a series of events to happen that affects usually people that are innocent. They have no idea that they're in, in, in this web of, you know, someone's mistakes that they've turned it into something deviant. And um, whereas it's, 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 it becomes negative energy, it's, you know, becomes criminal energy. You know, it just, it starts rolling and, and, and snowballing into something that it, that was something that, you know, could have been just resolved and say, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. But instead, no. Law enforcement will not do that. Law enforcement will not admit that they've made a mistake. They will not. Okay. And I told you that. Uh, any elements of law enforcement, you know, public safety, you know, it, it, may, it may have changed now. Ah, I don't know. Since 2022, it, it, it was uh, still the same. Now, if it hasn't changed since 2022, I, I have no idea. Because, I, you know, I don't, I, I, once I released myself from that environment, I released myself from that environment. Okay. But they will not admit that they've made mistakes. Will not. They will justify it to no end, okay? And so, it you know, because law enforcement is what? Law enforcement involves, uh, you know, it doesn't just involve law, it doesn't involve just police officers, okay? Law enforcement is the activity of some members of government who act in an organized manner to enforce the law by discovering, investigating, deterring, rehabilitating, punishing people who violate the rules and norms governing that society. Now, are we doing that? No, we're not. Okay? Uh, and that, it, it's, it involves, like I said, the police, the courts, corrections. Um, you know, it's, uh, it involves uh, record keeping, record sharing, record corp, you know. It, it, it's, it's supposed to be you know, it's, it says law enforcement are also associated with protecting public, pre protecting the public, life, property, and keeping peace in society. Is that what's happening? No, it's not. Since 2022, I would say. Now, has it changed since 2022? I, um, no. Okay, so... What I, the mistakes I was made is what I was uh, sharing with, sharing things with people that they ought to know your birthright about what's going on. You know, you think you're being protected by, you know, quote unquote law enforcement, but you're being exploited. Okay, um, I said some things that you know, which turned out to be true. That's that's the part that's. Um, that that happens, unfortunately, where you'll be accused of something, you'll be you would have been alleged to have done something, and it turns out you were telling them the truth. I knew I was telling the truth, but that truth was a threat. The truths that I was sharing were threats, and so I was alleged to have been involved in this and involved in that, and and so all eyes were on me. Eyes were on me. Yes, they were. Um, and the stuff started being tampered with. And, and so, and usually when people would say certain things like that, everybody immediately said, okay, that bitch crazy right there. And so if it's coming from law enforcement to say that that bitch is crazy, then, I mean, then, you know, what do most people do? Most people believe that. And that may not be true at all. Okay. There are so many people that have been labeled as crazy and it, it, and it, you know, it, and the family members are involved with that too. Don't don't be, don't be mis, um, don't be misled. Family members are involved in this 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 campaign to call people crazy. 
I told you a lot of uh, icons, especially black female icons, were tampered with, were hacked, and some were murdered because they were attempting to tell the truth, number one, but yet they were, uh, they were labeled as crazy, okay? Nina Simone, Billie Holiday, Marilyn Monroe, okay? They were labeled as crazy, okay? And you can't trust that. You can't trust that bitch, okay? And then, so, and so the whole campaign is, okay, we need to shut her down. We need to shut, tell her to shut the fuck up. And that's the, and that's that's the, that's the campaign, and that's the campaign that's been going on hundreds of years, maybe thousands of years. Shut the truth down by any means necessary. Okay, so something is something is going on, brewing around. Yes, I can sense something's going on. You know, I rested well last night, but you know. Something's brewing. Something's going on. You know. <laughs> okay, is that bitch crazy? Oh, okay. Continue with that narrative. But again, it, you, you do have to be strategic in how you disseminate the truth. And because, again, the truth is a threat. A lot of people have been murdered, assassinated because they're telling the truth. They're revealing the truth. That is a threat. Okay, to certain uh, elements of our uh, realities, certain entities in our um, climate, in our cultures, in our communities, you know, on our planets. The truth is a threat. And a lot of people make this, make this excuse, which is an excuse to say, you know, you know, the, You know, it's, a lot of things have been so um, so saturated and so bundled up in confusion. It, I understand why people are confused. And if you look at the big picture, you can understand it too. With compassion and empathy, though. Why people are confused about who they are, what they are, and why they are. It makes perfect sense to me. Okay, it makes perfect sense. Why? Because... Because uh, everything has been so interfered with and so tampered with and hacked, you know. And now we're making a mistake. We're making a catastrophic mistake with the artificial intelligence. Because, you know, the truth is, uh, is, is the truth of the matter is not being shared as to why, you know, artificial intelligence was uh, created in the beginning. I told you it was about control, but I, I, I say it is, I, I sense it's something deeper. I really do. Because you have the, the, uh, the collectiveness of certain people that are in this pyramid, in this sphere, who are, who are, who hate themselves. Okay. And they don't have the uh, courage to take themselves out. So what they, what are they going to do? They're going to use technology to do so, you know terrorize people, harass people, okay? It'll be denied what happened to me just like it was to any other person that has been targeted, okay, by that sphere of law enforcement. It'll be denied, of course. And, and to me, I have no, um, no ill wills, per se, but I know a lot of people have lost their lives, lost their livelihood, uh, lost their family, their marriages, their partnership, you know, everything has been destroyed over initially a mistake. But because no one has the courage, some people in, in law enforcement do not have courage to admit they made a mistake. They rather keep it going and keep it going and keep it going and let someone else take responsibility for it. Let somebody else take the blame for it. So that's why I said a lot of these high-profile um, uh, crimes will not be solved because that's not the point. When a high-profile person uh, has some things happen to them, especially assassination, when someone, when a high-profile person is assassinated, it usually is coming from 
sources unknown. And that's the whole point to not be solved. Okay. But sadly, you know, artificial intelligence is going to uncover all of that too. Okay. We had, we had dummy acting human beings, stupid acting human beings dealing with technology such as artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence has um, can run circles around the, the, the hands that fed it. And, the, you know, the Frankenstein syndrome, the Frankenstein complex. And all they had to do was say, when they made a mistake, is say, you know what, I, I made a mistake. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. But no, you're not going to get that out of many politicians, especially the season, seasoned ones. No, you're not. You're not going to get it. So when I understood about the Declaration of Independence, you know, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, that's when I realized nobody's reading the, the U.S. Constitution at all. Because we could have shut down all these so-called theories decades ago. Critical race theory could have been shut down because it holds nothing. Your theories and opinion mean nothing. But yet, no, a lot of people just wanted to argue and get into debates and arguments and this and that. And instead of realizing, wait a second, that whoever whoever conjured that up is an, is behaving like an idiot. I don't want to call people idiots, okay? Because usually these people that are, I mean, they're all human beings that made mistakes, but their behaviors and action, whether than I mean, the way they behaved and act, instead of taking responsibility for their mistakes. Is that that's the criminal energy part of it all, the um, the cover it all up. Okay. When I was targeted, it'll be denied. They thought I was sharing st stuff. They thought I was sharing secrets, and you know she's a former law enforcement. Oh, she's sharing things that she, you know. Come on now. And then they want to want to believe that she may have gone into databases and she may have compromised this and comp they found nothing and I know they looked it'll be denied of course but if someone had come to me and said you know what Michelle I'm sorry we accuse you of something that you did not do but, but <laughs> I'm not naive okay I'm not naive uh, I'm not gullible either. I'm not gullible either. So, mistakes. Owning up to your mistakes will evolve your consciousness. But that is not going to happen anytime soon for a lot of people. So that's why I said we lost, we've uh, lost opportunities collectively. Individuals will have to do so. Come forward. And stop acting cowardly about stuff. And, and admit that there were some mistakes made. Innocent people were targeted. Innocent people lost their lives for attempting to tell the truth. But the truth is a threat. You know, the truth is a threat to a lot of organizations and a lot of uh, institutions and a lot of corporations and a lot of, you know, this and that and the other. You know, because they want to keep things secret because, you know, it's the, it's, you know, as I said about secrets, is the need to know. You know, it's uh, kept hidden from knowledge, view, or con it's concealed. You know, it's on a need-to-know basis. So some people rather keep secrets. You know, it's, it's the practice of hiding information from certain individuals or groups who do not have the need to know. So, I uh, I sense a lot of things. I sense a lot of people are uh, that that are feeling some regret, some remorse, um, some guilt. 
but they're afraid for their lives because they know they have to hold on to this, hold on to certain things for the rest of their lives. You know, unfortunately, unfortunately, if someone comes to you and, and, and share a secret with you, you know, you're supposed to keep that promise to not share it. But how many people are doing that? You know, when you, somebody shares a secret with you, you're supposed to keep it for life and not conceal it, you know, and not share it. So you're going to have to figure out how to be strategic about it. That's all. Just be strategic. You know, it's, you know, secrets are, you know, like, you know, it's like some people have sec want to tell you a secret about a party, you know, birthday party, keep the secret, don't tell, you know. So in other words, you just have to be, you have to be creative about it and, and own up to your mistakes, you know, own up to your mistakes. And vow to, you know, you know, get out of your um, cowardly behaving about lies and not owning up to that as well. You know, you know, your intentional lies. That's that criminal energy element. But, you, you know, again, I say you can spin yourself out of anything if you know what you're doing. And know what your intentions and purposes are. Okay. We all make mistakes. We have to. But we have to own up to them. And we need to come forward. And, and, and free some people. You know. Put the right people. Make the right people accountable for what. What they. What was done. You know. Again. To. To claim that you want the truth by telling people lies. Is. Criminal. That's a criminal energy. Now, if you just made a mistake and thought that was something strategic to do, okay, that's different, right? Or is it? Um, again, when things happen to people and they have no idea why things are happening, and the first thing someone, and then when they attempt to share it, the first thing they say, okay, that bitch is crazy. You know, we dismiss people so quickly, too. We dismiss people so quickly because most people are not thinking properly. It's, it, you, know, it's, you know, it's a simple fix, actually, to be honest with you, to get yourself out of criminal energy. It's simple. It's a simple fix, but it requires, you know, uh, resilience, perseverance, you know, um, uh, courageousness, you know, that's what it requires. So, so I wanted, I got up this morning, you know, I told you I rested well, but there was some, you know, some, just something, something's going on. Something's about to happen. Something's going on. I don't know. You know, though, that's just the way, that's just the way of the energy. And we all have that going on in us. Does it mean anything? No, it doesn't. You still need evidence of stuff. You know, you need to have proof of things, but usually it starts in a whisper, in a sound, in a tone, in a melody, you know, nature. Okay, so enjoy your moments with each other. Um, enjoy your moments um, alone, you know, contemplating, cultivating. And being real about you know what's really going on in you, what is your real what's your, what, what is your real intentions, you know, and um, you know, the act of love is understanding yourself as well. I mean, to understand it and have some compassion for yourself and empathy for yourself, even if you made mistakes, that's that that's an act of love as well. Okay, so criminal energy with the right intentions and purpose can be reversed, okay, and neutralized, all right, so peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains, at the end of the day, it's about universal love, it's about universal love, share it, and trust me, I will be back.